a lot of you guys have been asking me the question, what are the ladies like in Mexico, Playa de Carmen? I'm, lie, I'm taking back the men are asking me this. In Mexico, Playa de Carmen, the girls are very beautiful. You got so many different flavors of women in Playa de Carmen. But let me tell you, there is a big risk when dating the woman here in Playa de Carmen, Mexico. Before we get into that, make sure to hit the subscribe button, smash that like button to push this video in the algorithm because it helps me out a lot. Let's get into the flavors before I talk about what you really need to look out for. Okay, so in Playa de Carmen, you have such variety of flavors of women. I'm talking like that damn ice cream, man. Seriously, even me, I've been looking back, I'll be like, oh my God, like she's got such an amazing body. Quintana Roo Mexicans are different. You've got the real short, cute ones. You've got the white ones, and you've also got the mixed Mexicans. You know, I forgot the name. They are very beautiful, but I will have to tell you this, and I honestly thought this was all in my head, but I noticed when I was dating in Mexico, a lot of them, well, in Play the Carmen more specifically, a lot of them, their breath was horrible. And look, a lot of people are gonna get angry, and that's fine. I looked on the internet because I was so curious how come I kept dating these beautiful Mexicans and their breath be rank, man. I'm like, what's going on? Like, why is it like that? And that's the statistic. I forgot what it was, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. A lot of them have poor dental hygiene. And it's nothing bad. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Just be prepared for that. But I do think the guys have it more worse than the woman. So just be prepared for that and don't rule a person out out just because of the bad uh, dental. There's a little few fixes you can do and boom, you got yourself a down-to-earth loyal woman with good breath because her bad breath scared all the other guys away. Now you got the Argentinians, the Colombians, Brazilian. <laughs> now a lot of South Americans travel to Mexico for either vacation or a lot of them decide to live there, especially the Arche Argentinians. There's a lot of that in Playa de Carmen. And a lot of them are so beautiful. Beautiful skin, just amazing. You got a lot of expats, especially black American women. A lot of them love Playa de Carmen. They got this whole natural, beautiful look going but, on. But, I'm not saying all of them are, but in Playa de Carmen, like I said in my other video, Playa de Carmen has a pretty big SEX industry, okay? They have like hotels based for swingers. I'm gonna give you the best tip ever. Before I tell you this story guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications because it helps me out a lot and pushes this video in the algorithm. If you just happen to be dating a woman and she's not free at night for some odd reason and she's sleeping during the day, she's free in the afternoons, look into that, okay? I dated a few people that were like that and it turned out that they were ass. It's like, man, it's like it was really hard for them to emotionally invest in me because they, you know, doing their job and sleeping with a lot of men. The reason why I found this out because one of my friends who's an escort was showing me, yeah, look at the website, this is where I promote myself. And I was like, oh my God, I know that person. I know that person. What the hell? There's so many escorts here. So the website you want to look at is um, just type in escorte. That's how I find it all the time. E S C O R T E, Mexico or Playa de Carmen, and it should have this logo. Every time I'm dating someone there, I look into that website. And look, you probably don't mind that your partner is an escort. But this is what I, this is the other downfall and the other dark thing you need to look into. It's a high risk. And what I mean high risk, STDs. Some people don't care, some people do care. Because some people don't, they're not risking their bodies. Because another downfall in Mexico Play to Carmen, having an STD check costs a lot of money. Like it is cost high. And when you think about the average wages in Mexico, you're like, wow, how do these people afford it? I meet so many people in Play to Carmen, when I ask them, oh cool, what's your STD status? They get tested like once a year. And I'm like, whoa, like, well, okay, well how many partners you have? Or how many people have you slept with since your last test? And they'd be like, oh, three or two. And I'm like, wow, so since that last person, you haven't got tested. So you don't know what you have until you get tested again. Because remember, 
It takes two weeks until something shows in your blood. That's herpes simplex 1, herpes simplex 2. You also got syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea. So with sports, when they're having multiple partners all the time, yes, they might be wearing a condom, but you've got to realize a lot of these STDs is spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact. So if they got syphilis and they happen to have a syphilis outbreak on their thigh and that inner thigh is rubbing against that person's leg, boom, it spreads to them. But I, a lot of you guys don't really think about that and that's why you always end up with something. And I get it, you guys don't care about that. Most of you guys just wanna know the girls because you're not interested in the relationship. You just wanna have fun. And that's cool if you wanna do that. But just be aware there are very high risks of that. And in Play to Come In, it uh, cost a lot of money. Now there was one clinic I went to, right, and they gave me wrong. They gave me the wrong status run. Says so this place. This place is probably the cheapest. But apparently, from what another doctor told me, she told me don't go there for your herpes simplex tests. Go to another place. I went to this place to get tested for herpes simplex one and herpes simplex two. They're really good, and they double check for you too. But look, once you go there and you see the prices, you're gonna understand why these people are not regularly getting checked. Because it costs a lot of money. But yet they wanna keep on having a lot of people, which is mind blowing to me because man, if you're gonna do that, you need to make sure you can afford those tests. Because that's scary to think you having that multiple partners and you don't even like care about what you could get. So yes, there is a very high risk there and play the common due to the SEX industry escorting and some people just playing around. They want to have fun with other guys too and they're not being careful. So if you're going to date a girl there, my suggestion, my best advice so you can avoid all those other things is find someone who isn't a high risk and build a friends with benefits with them and be like, hey, I'm only here for two months or one month or two weeks and I would like to be, you know, friends with benefits with you. You know, be honest. I know sometimes it's hard to do that with women, but you'd be surprised there are some women that are down for that fun time as well. Once you find that, you find out when was the last time they had fun time and if it just happened to be two or three weeks ago, you were in the clear to get tested together and bring your results and bring extra money for that test because chances are she's not going to be able to afford it because it is very expensive over there, like I said. I know some of y'all gonna turn around and be like, no, it just costs this. You gotta realize a proper test, not just the STD panel, but the herpes simplex one and two tests, the bacterial infection tests, they all cost different and it's a big sum of money. So I really recommend that you bring that extra money for that girl, whoever you're gonna be playing with. And then for two weeks, you can have a girlfriend. You guys have fun, you spoil her, take care of her, she's gonna spoil you you take care of you hopefully and you can have safe fun together with no strings attached anyway if you do that I know you guys are gonna end up falling in love because those girls that just want fun time with you as well are the ones you end up falling hard for don't lie